once they sold me on the fact that 18 hole golf course is not an option um, and started thinking about the options, this is kind of a combination of what we've done for a lot of other clients. Um, over at uh, UVA, the, the Boar's Head Resort, we have a six hole short course and a putting course. At Sea Island, we did a renovation of a golf course and added a putting course. Um, we've done short courses, putting courses, but we haven't done this all in one place. Um, we basically have a nine hole course across the road. You have a three hole course over here, a six hole short course, a par three course, and a driving range. Welcome to the new Belmont. Thank you all for being here. It's a day not just to celebrate, but also to be very grateful. Our mission at the First Tee is to strengthen the character of our community. Obviously, we do that primarily through our youth programs that teach life skills to kids through the game of golf. We also try to do it by providing golf facilities that better our community, that are open to all, and importantly, first class. This is an exciting moment in the life of our county. We are witnessing the revitalization of this venerated course into a golfing facility that can cultivate the future of the game. We're getting ready to open up a new chapter of Belmont that um, you know, it's been a long time coming. I think the community and certainly our participants will benefit from this transformation and restoration for many years to come. I think Belmont's kind of the future of golf. It's a place where you can play any kind of a round you want. You can play six hole short course, two or three holes on the big course or across the street and play nine or just play them all. And a place to hit balls, get on the putting course and a great place for people to start playing golf or improve their games. First Tee and its project team, including Love Golf Design, have done an amazing job right here on this property. Historic Belmont has been carefully reimagined and restored in a way that honors its rich history, but also positions it for the next generation of golfers. So many of these golf courses have just stood the test of time. We heard so many stories of people who grew up playing this golf course, but hadn't been back in 20 years. Um, to have a property like this that is so much more accessible for this community is really important. Well, it's obviously uh, very gratifying to finish up a project, and this project has gone very quickly. There is an infinite number of things that this can do for the community. You know, number one, teaching a younger generation, or even a generation of folks that have never played golf. Folks are drawn to interesting, beautiful, well-maintained golf of all kinds, and we felt like we were offering so many different options that the modern golfer just couldn't stay away. Well, for Virginia and for Richmond, uh, this is gonna be a model for really for the first tee for the whole country. The first tee is a great organization. It's been growing fast, a bunch of great young players and, and great young Americans coming out of the first tee program. But this is the, the epicenter of it now. This is one of the best facilities, some of the best supporters of the first tee, and now a model for what can be built in, in any city around the country. The bell was chosen as a symbol originally because the bell was significant to the old Belmont course. It was rung to let the players playing the fifth hole know that the fairway was clear. It's important to us because it symbolizes community. With no further ado, I will ask Davis Love and First Tee participant Tia McDonald to do the ceremonial ringing of the bell.